Okay, this is a video for those who have the plugin Silk the Spawners and well, you know, um, how to configure it with being able to work with people that don't have OP because I had this problem and we couldn't mine spawners after adding this plugin but we could exploit them with TNT because I increased the chance to 100% with TNT I might, I will show you how to do that too anyways, this is in order to get this thingamajiggy, what's it called so, first you want to get permission X alright, yeah you need permission X and you need the thing itself use bucket, I literally have spy got and bucket works for you too somehow it just, just works Download you this silk dust spawners. I'm not sure what silk dust spawners. I'm not sure if it's the one I use, but get this, and then get this. Put it in your plugins folder in your world, and with the lights and your adrenaline, your blood sugar will go down, and you start to sweat a lot more. So it's like handy to have a drink. Oh yes. Well, I don't drink water. I drink a lot of other stuff. So I'm streaming by the way. So if you go to your server, I'm I'm using this on the server, but you could do this in your world. If you have a server, you go to the you have the world and the plugins. You go to the plugins. When you install those two plugins, the permission X and the silk spawners, there's gonna be folders. There's the the, the things that ignore the single player sleep. But permission X and jar, we don't need that. We need permission X. First, you wanna go through this. This is important. I wasn't because you won't be able to do commands even with OP until you go to the config, and then you go to this dumb little thing in Magigger. Where it says allow OPs by by default it was on false. I'm like bruh, I'm literally OP. This doesn't make sense. I put it to true, save, and then when you're done with that, you just let reload and then um make sure you repeat on the server. Um and then you reload the server. So I'm gonna reload it whatever oh, slash reload. Right. Um the server should work. It, give it it's gonna take a while with permission X it, takes a while for some reason uh, then you want to just ask plugins after it's done it just should be green text just taking a while <gasps> oh I'm not OP'd let me OP myself real quick I'm not gonna show you because I'm gonna end up showing my IP to my server uh, players going to banana <coughs> OP so I just let's reload and then you wanna, yeah, when I mean, it says reload complete, you just press plugins. I have permission X and silk spawners and single player sleep too, because I play with friends. Um, you can know this glitch, I don't know why it's like that. So now, what you wanna do, you go on the, wait, let me show you. Uh, you go, you, they have a website. Uh, buckets have a, well, so there's permission X, you don't need this. You just get the download. This is the, I'm not gonna type the, whatever. This is the link. Um, might be in the, might be in the description. Um, this is the so when you go on the silk touch, it shows up silk spawners and then a bucket or something like that. You get them to the website and you want to go to I'm not sure pages. Yeah, pages right, overview. You you, you want to go you have to go overview. This is where you are. You go scroll down until you get to permissions here. Click here and then and uh, permission. You go down to the ones you need. You, without OP, you're not able to place, mine, or change spawners. The ones I configured was placing spawners. So you want to copy with this tar. Control C, place spawners, right? Control C, placing spawners. Because without it, so you want you wanna, right now I already did it, but I'm just going to show you what to do. So you want to do packs for permission X. You want to do, what was it? Crap, I have it in my thing. Pex group, okay. Pex group default, add. So you, so you, you do add and then you do these three. So you wanna do uh, spawners dot drop, which is the star, which is this one. No, this no, this is place. You wanna do this one, which is place. Control C and control V. Uh, you hold control C to copy this and then control V in the chat. After you tap add in space. You could do the same thing with uh, any of these, but do the ones that matter. I let you to use silk touch to mine uh, uh, mob spawner items. So you need silk touch pickaxe to mine it. This is the one I have here. And changing spawners. This is also one because we have uh, access to uh, spawn eggs. I let you to change spawner type by left clicking with a spawn egg. This is also another one from here. You put them all in here. You do pegs group default add. Um, 
And, well, yeah, all of them. And now, I have, if I do OP myself, burn a banana, I can't do so as a game mode, creative. Nope. Oh, wait, I misspelled it. Game mode, creative. I can't do it. So we go here. I have a silk push partner, silk pickaxe on here. You place it, and then you break it. And I can change it. The main thing is I can change it. Because I already have like 8 blaze spawners on this world. This is a skyblock randomizer. I stream on my Twitch, EdvinNGU. Hey, check me out. Uh, yeah, this is the way you do it. Pe you need permission X. Don't use lucky perms. Luck perms is garbage. It will, it, I don't know how to play with it. It won't. It's really annoying to work. Use permission X. This is for 1.14. I'm not sure if there is for 1.16. Because skyblock. I'm using 1.14 because... Skyblock randomizer isn't updated for that version because of the new commands and stuff like that, I think. Well, yeah, which is why we're playing 1.14. Yeah, smash like and subscribe. That button them haters, and this is my tutorial.